Good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Not just any afternoon. It's Easter Sunday afternoon. Happy Easter, everybody. Everyone quarantining slash uh, sheltering in place on this holiday. My kids are in the house right now uh, coloring eggs. I'm sorry, can we, 2020, my bad. Can you say coloring eggs anymore? Uh, they're doing pigmentation adjustments on the eggs. And we found this machine where you put the egg in there and it spins it around real fast and you get the markers so you can put different colored lines and designs on it and shit. Genius. But we are also going to uh, adjust the pigment of the eggs through more traditional means at a later time. AKA, we're gonna dye the eggs the old fashioned way later, but this machine, very cool. Um, I recommend you get one. It's a lot of fun, new way to do things. Much cleaner, but we still gotta respect those old school traditions. I'm excited to dye eggs, I'm sorry, adjust the pigment of said eggs. Also, before I get started, big, big up, Big shout out to Mary Ann. Let me tell you about Mary Ann, all right? First of all, I'm a friend of mine. I work with her husband, and he mentioned, because we got all these masks at work. We have to wear them, but they didn't fit. Not everybody has the right fitting mask. It's crazy shit. My mask was ill-fitting because, I don't know if you noticed, but I got a big-ass dome, and these masks weren't working. So it casual conversation he mentions oh yeah you know jericho's mask didn't fit boom next thing you know she's up doing her best betsy ross impersonation with that sewing machine and she hooked me up with this very cool black bandana print mask that actually fits it fits tight to fits tight to the face has a little slot inside where you can put a filter or you can wear another mask underneath it i really appreciate that marianne my safety is important to me and apparently to you too it fits perfectly it's a a masterpiece you should probably <coughs> sell these on the side you make a killer get great at it <clears throat> excuse me but thank you very much marianne i really really appreciate that i'll be wearing that shit anytime i step out of my house now, now for a little false racism for your Easter Sunday. Now, as you may or may not know, the Surgeon General is a man by the name of Jerome Adams. His name is fucking Jerome. That plays a part in this later. Remember that. The man's name is Jerome. So, he got in a little bit of a trouble, a little bit of hot water. Or as I like to say, he suffered some backlash because he came out and appealed to communities of color, the POCs inside of the COCs, the communities of color. He said basically, look, there are a disproportionate number of colored folk dying from the China virus. It's something like 22 uh, Latinos per 100,000, 20 blacks per 100,000, and then white people are like half that at 10 per 100,000. Asians are like eight per 100,000. So we're dying twice, we're dying at uh, twice as many people as whites or Asians, twice as many blacks and Latinos are dying. So the Surgeon General says, hey, it's my job to oversee public health and safety, so let me put this word out. So he was appealing to him saying, look, we need to take extra precautions. We need to be extra vigilant because we are dying at twice the rate of some of our counterparts. So we need to do it. He said, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for your abuela, do it for your granddaddy, your pop pop, your, your big mama, whatever the fuck you call them, noni. Nan, whatever you call them, do it for them if you're not going to do it for yourself because it's not just about you. This affects everybody. If you don't take the precautions, you get infected. You can infect people in your community and your family. Duh, right? This is all true. This is all important. This is all the right things to say. And he even addressed, he said, just because you're colored, there's shit going around online where black people are believing that because you're black, because you have more melanin than the average bear, that you're not going to get 
the China virus. That's crazy. That's stupid. That's not true. He's doing this for your health and safety. It's his job. Like I said in the beginning, his name is fucking Jerome. So why are people coming out calling him racist? Because he said, tell your big mama, guess what, dummies? That's how some black folks refer to their grandmother or their great-grandmother. The, the matriarchal figure in their family is sometimes referred to as big mama. Why is that a problem to hear that coming out of his mouth? He said, I even call my granddaddy, granddaddy. You call your grandparents whatever the fuck they tell you to call them. My wife's mom wants to be called grandma. My mom, my mom wants to be called granny. Or my kids still call her gang gang. Because that's what my daughter called her when she was really little and couldn't talk properly yet. I know people, Italian people. That's Noni and Papa. White people. I know white people. That's their nan. Like I said, black folks, big mama, whatever the fuck. I know tons of Mexican people that call their grandma abuela. You know why? Because that's the Spanish word for grandma. The fuck is going on here? When did the truth become taboo and racist? He's saying, look, fool, you're dying at twice the pace as everybody else. Do something to stop it. Instead of these fucking assholes coming out calling him racist, why don't you say these two words? It, I know, sit down. It's going to blow you away, all right? Everybody seated? Okay. Why don't they say these two words? Thank you. Thank you for being concerned with my health and safety. Thank you for putting that word out, even though it shouldn't have to be put out. Thank you for doing that. The man is not fucking racist because he's telling you to do it for your family if you wouldn't do it for yourself, you dumbass. We need to get a handle on this. We need to stop this, which means everybody needs to come together and do their fucking part. It's a community. It's a group effort. We can't have you off doing your own thing, getting infected, coming over here and fucking it up for everybody else who's been following the rules. Now, everybody watching this damn video, you know somebody in your family you call that, or you know somebody who calls their family members that. What a fucking outrage. His name's Jerome Adams. <laughs> what the fuck? You think you don't use those words to describe some of his family members? I, I just don't understand how we fell down this damn rabbit hole. Why are we not allowed to say the truth anymore? These are ways that people refer to their grandparents. He didn't make these words up. These words have been around since the beginning of some of these civilizations that they belong to. How long you think Italian people have been using Noni and Papa? Come on. How long you think Hispanic people, Latinos, whatever, have been using the word abuela, abuelita, abuelo? These are words that have existed. The man is not racist for using them now to try to help you. To try to help us. What the fuck? There's no shocker. He said the reason that these communities are dealing with this in much bigger numbers is because they have a track record of poor health. Poor diets, lack of exercise, this no access to health care is bullshit. Because if you have a good enough job, you will get decent insurance. If you make enough money, you can acquire your own. Hospitals and emergency rooms will treat you. We'll deal with that billing later. They will treat you. A lot of that shit has to do, like I said, poor diet, lack of exercise, Lack of knowledge from the generations before you, the older people, the moms, the dads, the grandmas, the grandpas not passing down good habits. That's why this shit is affecting us more than white people and Asians. If we took a page out of their book, we would have similar numbers to them. It has nothing to do with racism, nothing to do with where you fucking live. It's how you're raised and how you're taught. They don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter where you are. If you have poor diet and poor health in your in your lineage, that shit's going to get passed down to you. 
you start eating healthier, doing exercise and things like that, it will change. Fucking racist, man. Get out of here with that shit. Of course, as soon as I read the article where he said that, I said somehow, some way, somebody's going to squeeze some racist juice from these comments. And they're not going to stop squeezing until they find it. Big mama. That's what the fuck people say. <laughs> it's, just so, it's so hard to wrap my mind around the way some of these fucking dummies think. It's not like he made up these words. These are new words I came up with to insult you. These are words that the very people who are claiming to be offended use. Man, please, I'm tired of this shit. Let me get back here with my family and color some eggs. Yeah, I said color. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. Also, Jericho Green, notification tones, link in the description box. Help your boy stay independent. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.